Hi Aquarius, welcome back in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see what messages come through for you in November 2022. Reverse the rules if needed. Switch the cases. But you know, don't force the reading on your situation, right? Let me just check this. Okay, Aquarius. What's happening with you this month? What's going to be your overall energy? And what's coming towards you, right? <sighs> victory, wow. Aquarius, some sense of victory here. Achieving what you truly desired for. I see um, I see what you truly wanted is here. Second chakra, for some of you, I see um, there's some sort of struggle at the moment when it comes to your second chakra, sacral chakra. This can be somebody around you also. That's also something I'm picking up. But uh, overall, this is the energy of having some sort of struggle when it comes to your personal relationships. Very personal, private relationships sacral chakra is all about intimacy your you know uh, close relationships intimate relationships some sort of uh, struggle expressing something right there's an urge that you're trying to control or there is something that is uh, blocking this area moreover i see this week i'm sorry this month there's some sense of victory coming in for a lot of you you're taking over your challenges your blockages this month you're taking over um any sort of discomfort i'm feeling that you're taking over any sort of discomfort here around your relationships okay let's see what messages come through for you aquarius we're going to see where you're coming from what's going to happen next and uh, what you need to keep in mind when it comes to the new month any buddy or any specific person or anything in your surroundings coming towards you we're going to dive in all aspects right and if possible we're going to have some miscellaneous messages at the end as well right so let's dive in queen of wands king of cups wow four of cups okay that's interesting you're coming from a place where Somebody is super passionate about you or you are very passionate about somebody. So this fire and water combination, deadly combination, you know. <laughs> fire can burn water, water will evaporate. And um, if water is in more uh, quantity, it can extinguish fire. So this is definitely dead deadly combination. I see sometimes it turns toxic when fire and water comes together, right? Uh, so in some cases, not always. I see you very dissatisfied about a specific energy. I see there's a love offer here right now that you're ignoring. Four of Cups, there's an opportunity being offered to you. But I think you're very dissatisfied about it. Very dissatisfied about it. There's some signs of emotions here that you're trying to ignore. A lot to clarify. We're going to clarify things which are not clear as of now. Page of Pentacles. As you proceed forward, I see communication. Some tangible communication is happening here. And um, I feel like where is that uh, there is some sort of burden that you are deciding to put down here. High Priestess and Three of Cups. Intuitively, you know what makes you happy, right? This is strong intuitive download. After some sort of dissatisfaction here that you're going through, this can be surrounding a fire sign you're dealing with or an air sign you're dealing with. Hmm, somebody's more like a go-getter here. I see you a little dissatisfied with this energy. There's an offer coming in, but there is a baggage that you're carrying. So what are you going to pick? And this week, I see, yeah, the first week of, you can say this is the energy around first week of November. High Priestess to the Three of Cups. Intuitively, you know something. You have a feeling of uh, talking to somebody, reconciling with somebody or spending time with your friends and family. Intuitively, you exactly know what makes you happy and you want to pursue that, right? Going with the flow sort of energy. Let's see what your future holds for you here in this situation, Hermit. A lot of introspection. A lot of introspection, Aquarius. Uh, Virgo energy here on the table. I see that a lot of introspection is needed. 
there is a big struggle this month i'm picking up it's going to be a month of big struggle big struggle aquarius what to decide what to pick up six of cups there is some past influence here eight of swords it's a hard decision i see you so choked so blocked so confused for a lot of you i see you listening to people around you be careful of uh, who you listen to aquarius because sometimes uh different people have different opinions isn't it and if you're listening to 10 different people they're going to give you 10 different opinions and instead of doing good it's going to harm you right in the long run because the more you listen to useless advices the more they're going to block your head this is some self-limiting thought self-limiting thought or limiting thought when it comes to a particular situation in the near future there's some past energy here six of cups king of swords moon I see there's some love hate happening here. You're missing somebody. You're trying to control the emotions. And you're very disappointed about somebody here. Something or somebody. We're going to see what's that anyways. So uh, I'm feeling here Aquarius that in the near future. And specifically this month. What you need to keep in mind is that there's going to be a decision that you're going to be facing. Right? Maybe you have two opinions that you have to uh, choose from. Two options opinions i'm saying because i see a lot of people giving you different opinions and you have to make a decision about it maybe two options maybe two people you're struggling to make a decision between one of them can be an air sign and another can be an uh, you know an earth sign maybe a virgo i see a lot of universe is telling you take your sweet time to introspect because your your intuition is telling you something here what makes you happy right an eight of swords is showing me that you guys don't let outside opinions impact you outside uh, energies here impact you okay wow you and your thoughts you need to take away your thoughts and picking up okay tell me more about this queen of wands and king of cups connection what is this connection i see you very dissatisfied when it comes to this energy this can be a couple this can be your relationship this can be your equation with somebody in your surroundings love work money but i'm picking up this attraction here and there's love and it's actually piling up knight of swords page of wands temperance okay for a lot of you i see sudden activity happened something's happened very quick here for some of you this has already happened that's the reason why you're so dissatisfied i'm picking up that some very quick activity took place you heard some messages maybe passionate messages maybe there was a small expression it happened quickly the conversation happened quickly or the encounter happened quickly and then things faced down slowed down I'm picking up temperance energy, you holding, you, you're stepping back for healing or somebody you're dealing with, definitely stepping back for healing here. Okay, what you're dealing with, six of wands, eight of cups and queen of cups. Somebody who's very emotional. Okay, there's a third party for some of you, king and queen of cups with the queen of wands. I see you're probably dissatisfied because somebody is uh, walking away can be a queen of cups can be a soulmate trying to walk away at the moment or they are stepping back for introspection and healing very dissatisfied why are you dissatisfied here for a lot of you i see you're dissatisfied because of virgo this hermit energy is showing up very strong you're not able to make a decision here there's some sort of dissatisfaction it can be because of a particular person what's the burden here there's a oh, two of cups page of swords King of Wands. Wow. So, for some of you, it's a third party energy. King and Queen of Wands, King and Queen of Cups. It's a third party energy. Three of Cups. Intuitively, you have something on your mind. There's a connection you're trying to deal with. I see a relationship here, Aquarius. And your guards are very high. The gods are very high when it comes to this relationship. Are you, I see you skeptical. 
Two of Cups, Three of Cups, possibly you're dealing with somebody at the moment. Two of Cups. But your passion lies somewhere else. Is that the case? I see there's a struggle between fire and passion. So maybe a fling and a, and a soulmate connection. These two are really... Oh yeah, Hierophant. Okay, there is a commitment. There's a contract. There is a connection and then there is a contract. For a lot of you, I see new love. Not really new love, but there's a relationship here. There's a connection that's important to you. But then you're dissatisfied about a specific person. Three of Cups is definitely making me feel third party energy here. Okay, there, there is a need. In the near future, as you enter the new month, whatever decision you make, whatever you're struggling with, universe is telling you to introspect. What is this decision? Why is the struggle here? Page of Pentacles, Communication, Magician, Manifestation, and Knight of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, I'm picking up that um, Page of Pentacles here. There's going to be a conversation about manifesting and taking things forward. For a lot of you, I see um, you're getting a conversation about manifesting something and you're going to be hearing a, a love confession or an offer. But you're looking backwards to a connection. Definitely third party energy. You have to make choices here. And this choice is so difficult for you. I'm picking up so difficult. What's blocking your mindset here? Eight of Swords clarified by Eight of Swords. Give me a break. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Judgment. Okay. There's a potential new beginning. But that is not showing up in the reading. It's just bottom of the deck. You can say that this is potential outcome in the long term. There's an offer, there's a confession, but you are so blocked. I see continuously somebody's looking backwards, continuously looking backwards. There are a lot of influences. I see multiple parties in this situation. Wow, this is a, definitely a love situation I'm picking up, Aquarius. Definitely a love situation you're dealing with this month. There is a connection and then there is a commitment. So for a lot of you, I see some traditional commitment intuitively you feel committed to somebody a contract with somebody and meanwhile there's a passionate connection i see you like this person a lot there's definitely for some of you i see you're not able to make a choice between two people it's becoming very hard for you to pick who's right for you past affair unresolved situation some sort of past situation is going on and there was no closure yeah, hoping for a new start. Um, for a lot of you, I see there's a new beginning knocking your door, but there is a past connection, past situation, which is unresolved. And you are feeling that it's very difficult to manage or make a decision here. There's a lot of introspection here. I see you have a lot of emotions, but you're really dissatisfied. Surrounding a particular hermit energy here. Can be a Virgo you've been dealing with. Explore. For a lot of you, I see uh, you want to go out and explore things. You want to you want to keep your options open. And King of Wands, Queen of Wands, definitely looking for new things. Because I see there is definitely an attachment with somebody which is not completely healed. I see you very dissatisfied and things have been really not as per what you expected. I see a lot of activity on some third angle in the situation. And you are deciding to explore the situation new things coming your way because you feel this but there's a strong sense of unfinished business here strong sense of unfinished business wrong motives wrong motives misleading somebody's wearing a mask for a lot of you i see lack of honesty in a situation for a lot of you i'm feeling that uh, somebody in the situation you are the other person this lack of honesty Maybe that's the reason why the connection is so up in the air. Because High Priestess, a lot of secrets, a lot of hidden facts, hidden things. Maybe there's a secret commitment or a secret relationship right now. But your love, your passion lies somewhere else. Wrong and misleading motives. Hmm. So where are you heading towards uh, when, when this month moves forward? Because I feel... There are some self-limiting beliefs that you need to take over, Aquarius. Revival and... Okay, start. Wow, contentment and bliss. 
there are new opportunities i see there's a new beginning in fact possibly new relationship and judgment okay and revival for a lot of your queries i see um you want to give something a try here you want to give something a genuine try and um, i don't know whether this is going to be the past unresolved thing that you want to give it a try or you want you're exploring something and you feel that this is something i want to try but definitely there are secrets and you will have to take over these self limiting beliefs so that you can work over this new revival happening in your life i see a revival happening in your life for sure so i see aquarius some personal relationships are definitely causing you trouble but eventually victory revival and these cards are showing me ace of pentacles these cards are showing me that you're definitely heading towards a fresh beginning in your life right with a possibly a past person i'm strongly getting here past person energy right and uh, whatever is uh, unresolved here i see at least there will be an effort to resolve the current situation because this dissatisfaction is piling over you and eight of swords so that self limiting belief is actually making this connection struggle so i see that you're taking over these energies this month wow it's going to be an interesting month <laughs> so i leave you here queries thank you so much guys for watching bye bye